Hey, what's up? It's Triggy. Welcome to part five of the virtual reality haptic feedback project. If you'll remember, we're trying to set up a physical dummy robot to be in the exact same location as a virtual entity just in the real world. That way, when you reach up to touch or punch the virtual entity, you actually feel the physical one and feel like you made contact. So we already have quite a bit done. We already have the position tracking figured out. We have the physical dummy moving around and it's matched up with the virtual entity. And we already have a couple sort of games that you can play with it. The trouble was that it was really flimsy and if you hit it too hard, that doesn't really work. It'll probably knock over. So this part was focused on making it more robust and more of a final prototype. Since this is the final part, it's gonna be a little more of a demo as opposed to the actual nuts and bolts of the build. So I hope you enjoy. We still have our trusty dummy bob, except the major change here is that the aluminum and wood frame we hacked together before has been replaced with parts from some mobility scooters. We're still using the Vive virtual reality system to run everything. Vive tracks the 3D position in the user's headset, the hand controllers, and theoretically any number of tracking pucks. We've created an environment and an enemy in Unity, put a tracking puck on the real dummy, and set up the virtual enemy to always be in the same position as the physical dummy. Also, check this out. How dope is this? I had to do some serious overhauling to override the safety features of the scooters, but now we have a professional looking steel frame, a fat battery, and some really powerful motors. The scooter itself actually originally only had one motor to control the two wheels, and steering was done with a steering wheel. Our design has a different steering protocol whereby we control each wheel separately, so I had to replace the original motor with two much beefier motors from a different mobility chair. This thing is actually nuts powerful. I have to run it at like 10% power to keep the current demands low enough to not kill the circuit boards we made. Especially since I had to override the safe acceleration protocols. And now the frame can take a real hit. So here's me fighting a virtual dummy and actually hitting something. Nice. All right, so that was the last part of this virtual reality haptic feed build. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe.